Welcome back to the AB Scale Project. I'm Krager. This is Off Bravo, and today we're starting off with Leo Convoy. This guy was mostly in Beast Wars 2 and Japanese media. He was had a bit part in the new Beast Wars continuity, but for the most part, he's a Japanese character. And for stand-ins, for height stand-ins, we got the Cyberverse Dead End in for the Robot Masters. And then the Masterpiece Optimus Primal is in for the Masterpiece Leo Convoy and the original Beast Wars 2 Leo Convoy. The Masterpiece is about half a head taller. The original is about a whole head taller. So, you know, closer to the inner John back there. But anyway, our recolor stand-ins are the Botcon Alpha Trizor for the Prime Leo Convoy and the Alpha Trion for the Legends Leo Convoy. Now, first off, we'll go with appearances. You know, you can use the original Botcon for a, you know, Cybertron version of him. But in general, we want the look with the lion head on the shoulders. Not really the double lion head, but the single lion head. Because this is more what we saw in the manga and some of the comic books. So, we'll go ahead and get rid of everything that didn't have that classic lion shoulder look. Well, that took out the lion share of them. Pause for laughter. Anyway, <laughs> so we're down to the Masterpiece, the original Beast Wars, the Robot Masters, and the new Legacy. Now, next we're going to talk scale. Now, in the animation, it looks like, you know, he was just a little bit taller than Optimus Primal. So we'll bring in our Optimus Primal, which is our kingdom. And we see the Masterpiece and the original are just much too tall, which we've determined in other Beast Wars videos that, you know, Masterpiece is just out of scale. And the Robot Masters, being shorter than a typical Deluxe, is also eliminated. And so our winner is the brand new Legacy Voyager Leo Convoy. And I actually like the way this guy looks. He comes with four of these little guns. You know, these he still has the, you know, claws gimmick down here that can pop out so that's pretty cool he has the chest matrix area while you can't get a matrix in there it does have a blast point so you can put a blast effect in there so that's pretty neat and he does have a lot of kibble on his arms just because that's the way it is but for the most part he packs away pretty well so, and I like the look of him. He looks great. He looks great next to Optimus Primal here. I think it's a winner. All right, we'll take a quick look at his alt mode. And here we have Leo Convoy in his lion mode. And he's a pretty big kitty. I mean, just give you a 360 and then we'll bring in Tigertron to give you a compare. You can see he's actually uh, a little bit bigger than Tigertron, which is, you know, kind of cool cause since he should be a leader type character so that works overall he looks pretty good they had definitely made him more of a realistic lion than a cartoony lion like we saw in the anime but and he still does his uh secret weapons mode that you can bring in all the tiny stuff and plug them in to the different ports let's get them to set in I oh, forgot about the uh, head port there. The the head one just kind of likes to stick a little bit on mine, just because there's not a really good place to really get a hold of it. There we go. So, peg these guys in up here. Put these guys over here. Incidentally, these also will peg into these slots here. So if you don't want to use these side main parts, you can do that too. There you go. There's the attack mode. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and go on to our next character. Finally for today, we're going to look at Cannonball. Now he only had two molds. He had the original Cybertron mold. And then he had the Botcon repaint rehead of the Prime Ratchet. Now, he was primarily a 
fun pub character in their comics and their prose. So not a huge impact on the G1 continuity. Now like between the two, we see much different styles between the two molds. You know, the Prime one definitely has a lot less <laughs> baggage to it. <laughs> so, but overall, the looks of them aren't too bad. And you just kind of imagine the ratchet here with that uh, red alert head. <laughs> but, uh, and since we only got two molds, we can go ahead and do a mold comparison. So, let's take a look at the vehicle mode. And here we have the cannonballs in their alt modes. And they both look pretty good. So, I actually do like the Cybertron version here, the one that's repainted Red Alert. It's a pretty neat kind of low rider. There's a lot of cool gimmick transformation gimmicks in it. But of course, the Prime Ratchet mold also has a lot of cool gim gimmicks built into it. So, it's kind of the same that way. But we'll give you a quick spin. And like I said, from the vehicle mode, it's unchanged from the original Prime Ratchet. So, let's make our final determination. So, which one of these are going to be our IDW G1 winners? Now, he didn't actually show up in IDW, so that's a moot point. So, for G1, the G1 appearance actually was the BotCon, since the Wings universe that the and the Beast Wars Uprising both fall within G1. So, the one you want to get is the BotCon. Now, from what I can see, it looks like everybody that has the BotCon is keeping it. Mostly because it came in probably one of the best sets that BotCon made. <laughs> but, so, for availability, I'd say go ahead and get the <laughs> Cybertron. Now, I had my Junker that I've used in earlier videos, and but I couldn't find it to give a proper send-off. But I did pick this guy up fairly cheap. So, he's going to be my Cannonball, because you can't find the other one on eBay. So, for me, it's going to be the Cybertron. But officially, the BotCon is the winner. Alright, let's wrap this up. That about does it for today. We got our new Legacy Leo Convoy. And an oldie but a goodie Cybertron <laughs> Cannonball. So, thanks for joining us today on the AB Scout Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Although, there aren't too many left. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring that bell. And I'll see y'all later.